In this video, we're going to do an intro to the polygon and point geo data types in ClickHouse. We'll use the speed test open data set from AWS. This data set contains network performance metrics categorized by level 16 web Mercator tiles. So we've made a copy of all the files in an S3 bucket. So let's take a look. So we're gonna use the AWS CLI to list all the files in the data sets hyphen documentation bucket and then the Ookla Parquet directory. And you can see it comes back with a bunch of files. The ones that we're interested in are the two at the end. So they're for the third and fourth quarters of 2023. And we're gonna be looking at the mobile tiles. So let's copy down those files to our machine. So we're gonna start with the one for the third quarter. So we'll run that. It, on my machine, it takes five to six seconds to, to download. And then once we've got that one downloaded, we'll also download the file from the fourth quarter. So that's the October 2023 quarter. And you can see we've now got both these files downloaded under our data directory. And now we're going to launch ClickHouse Local to analyze this data. So we're just gonna configure some settings. So we're gonna set describe compact output to one. So what this is gonna do is when we describe a table or a file, it's only gonna show us the name of the field and then the type. And we're also gonna set schema inference make columns nullable to zero. So this is when you're processing a parquet file, it's only gonna make a field nullable if it finds some nulls in the sample of fields that it looks like. So let's start by describing the parquet files that we have in that data folder. And you can see it comes back. So we've got a tile, we've got uh, tile X, tile Y, we've got some average download and upload speeds, also some latencies, and then the number of tests and devices that were conducted. Let's have a look at an individual row from the data set. So you can see it comes back here. We've got the quad key at the top and then tile is a polygon defined in wicket format. A polygon represents a place in the real world and they are usually represented by the coordinates of their vertices. And a polygon may have any number of vertices and then any number of edges. And the coordinates of the vertices are usually represented using the WGS84 latitude and longitude pairs. So for example, you could have a polygon that represents say a park in San Francisco or the borough of Manhattan in New York. And Wicket stands for well-known text representation of geometry. And that's a format used to encode polygons. And so if we go back to the terminal again, we can then have a look at the other fields. So we've got tile X and tile Y. Those are the centroids of each polygon. And then we've got a bunch of other metadata indicating the speed of download, upload, the latency, and then the number of tests and devices for each entry. Let's update that query now. So we're going to exclude the tile fields from from our select star clause. And then we're gonna create a point from the tile X and tile Y columns, and we're gonna call that a centroid. And then we're gonna use the read wicket polygon function to read the wicket, to convert that wicket format to a polygon from the tile field. And then we're just gonna grab the first value, and then we're gonna cast it as a ring type. So a ring is a simple polygon, but without holes, stored as an array of points. And so you can see it then comes back. So it's the same data as before. It's just now in the ClickHouse types for the centroid and the tile. Let's remove the limit from that query. And then we're going to go up to the top and we're going to add a create table clause. We're going to call the table performance. Uh, we'll specify our engine and then we're going to order it by the centroid and then we'll run that query. Now this query takes about 30 seconds to run. Most of that is doing the conversion from the wicket format to the ring or polygon type. So we're going to speed this up a little bit for the purpose of the video. And you can see it then processes uh, just under 8 million records in just under 30 seconds. So now let's have a look at how we can query that data. So we're going to say we're going to query from the performance table. We'll select the download speed and upload speed columns, and then we're going to apply, get the max value, I divide that by a thousand so that it's in megabytes per second rather than kilobytes per second, and then we'll round it to two decimal places. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing on those fields again, but this time we'll get the average again in megabytes per second and again rounded to two decimal places. And so then we get back these results. So the maximum 
at download speed that we've seen was about 4.6 gigabytes per second. The maximum upload 1.1 gigabytes per second, but the average was at about 95 megs per second and the upload 16 megabytes per second. Now, what about if we want to zoom this in into a particular area? So there's a website called wicketmap.com. We'll put the link to that in the description below. And so I've drawn a little polygon around the outside of London. Uh, so this is around a motorway called the M25. And it gives me this polygon here when I do that. And so we're going to copy that. We're then going to come over to our click house local. We're going to create a parameter called London and we'll just paste in that polygon in there. And now that we've done that, let's get our previous query that was computing the average speeds. And we're just going to update it to add in a where clause. And we're going to say where the point in polygon will pass in our centroid. And then we're going to read wicket polygon for that London wicket string that we just put in. And if we run that query, now we get back results which are only based on London. So you can see London's got a maximum download speed of 1.2 gigabytes per second. So it's nowhere near the quickest one in the world. At the average, the maximum upload is 200 megs. Again, five times slower than the maximum one we saw in the world. And the average download, 95, and the average upload, 13. That's closer to the, to the averages that we saw. So hopefully that's given you a good introduction. I'm going to try and do some more videos on geo data in ClickHouse. But until then, check out this video up here to learn more about querying Parquet files in ClickHouse.